All right, all right, all right. Today we're gonna do a little walk around and review of this bobber build that we did. Uh, this is a 250 Rebel. I'm just gonna kind of go through all the parts that we have into it right now, what we still have yet to do, what we're gonna do, um, and how I like all of them. So, this is gonna be a 2002 CMX 250C, just the Rebel 250. A uh, very basic bike, just the parallel twin. It has one carburetor that powers both cylinders. It is air-cooled, chain drive. It's pretty much as basic as it gets. So I will put up a picture quick of what it looked like before we started anything. Just the stock picture essentially right now. And then here is where we are currently. So we've done a few different things and I'll just kind of walk you through them. So we'll just start at the front here. Uh, our headlight that we got is just kind of a, a black bucket housing with the yellow lens. It does have the cage. There's a bunch of different headlights like this that I've seen. I really wanted a yellow lens just to kind of go with this retro look and retro build um so we did the yellow headlight with the black bucket came with the cage total cost there was 26 dollars and it's on ebay you can pretty much just look up yellow motorcycle headlight and it will come up with all of those very easy to wire up pretty straightforward it just clamps right onto the forks and then you just have this bolt that goes straight into the side of the headlight works very slick uh for handlebars I just did full-fledged MX bars. So these are Pro Taper uh, Sport Bars. They're the mid high rise. Uh, there's a certain name that they use for them. Oh, there you can see it there, the Unadilla. Yeah, I guess that's what they're called. Uh, they work really good. It's kind of a, a wider bar. It's not super super high rise or anything maybe a couple inches here on the bend uh but they really just fit this bike great i had used these on a 250 nighthawk and was really happy with them uh, and so we just got some pro taper grips as well just to kind of have a, a dirt bike feel front end maximum control uh for the seat i just got one of these universal well let's clean it off here everything's dirty i did not wash the motorcycle just because a little dirt adds some character uh we just got one of these universal seats uh it's kind of a scrambler seat or a cafe racer seat i've seen it called both um not specific to this bike uh, but we definitely used it for this bike so it has a couple different brackets that you can just drill a pinhole on the back in your frame or fender and mount it back there and then the front kind of comes with a bracket everything about getting this on was totally custom so i won't really go into that but you can definitely make it work uh even if you were doing like a bobber seat a solo seat um you could easily do one of those for the scrambler seat it was a little bit more labor intensive but i really wanted one of those on here uh, as far as the rear end, right now I just have these little strip tail lights on there, and I do have some bullet style. They're almost uh, tail lights that you'd see like on a Harley Sportster or something, and I'm just going to put those in that hole, and so they will come out a little bit and just be a little round headlight or tail light rather. Um, so we're going to put two of those on. I just always keep a handful of these uh, at any given time, so just so I could ride it and see how it was feeling, I wired those up. But we will change those to a bullet style. Uh, the exhaust for this bike. So I did make a video on YouTube of how I did this. So I just typically get the universal eBay uh, cans or mufflers. So you could really get any different shape, any different size. Watch my video of how I cut the stock exhaust and get this to mount up perfectly. Um, it's a good watch. If you're trying to give your 250 a different exhaust, it sounds really good. And we will start this bike up here at the end of the video. Uh, I did wrap the exhaust with some black fiberglass wrapping. And then I did a, a silicone coating, a black silicone coating over it. Because the last bike I did, I wrapped with uh, this black fiberglass and it quickly turned to gray, almost a white. So we did go over it with a silicone coating. 
tried to be very meticulous about how perfect that wrapping was around there. Kind of a tedious job, but it comes out really nice. I do like it a lot. Don't even have a license plate bracket. I just put the license plate for now on the second screw of the axle tensioner bolt. And honestly, I might just rock that for now. <laughs> but, I mean, not too many parts went into this, just between the seat and then our exhaust wrap, our two mufflers, uh, our front headlight, our dirt bike bars, and then our grips, of course. Actually, the bike already had these aftermarket levers on when uh, I got it. And they actually kind of match everything, so I left them on. Uh, typically, you can find these levers and stuff for about $15 a set online, and I've seen those exact levers for all different makes of bikes. I've bought them for sport bikes, dirt bikes, a bunch of different things in the past. But that seat could fit two people. Um, if you are really small, really squished together, it is possible, so I did leave on the uh, the passenger pegs there, just in case the girlfriend and I want to go anywhere. Um, so it is possible to have a passenger on this, but very happy with the build. You know, these bikes, they sound the part uh, for being just a 233cc parallel twin. It really sounds like a sport bike, so without further ado, Let's start it up. Key on. I've gone through the whole carburetor. This thing should work pretty good. Instantly starts. just a touch before we really rev the piss out of it but I want you guys to hear this bike because for a parallel twin 250 233 technically it sounds so good it sounds like a Ducati or something we'll see if it's warmed up enough yet
Nighthawks and Rebels. They're a great bike for what they are. Perfect beginner bike. The last bobber I did was a 1500 Vulcan. And I can hands down say that I have more fun riding one of these Rebels uh, over a bigger CC heavier bike. Even though this is definitely underpowered, my top speed is about 78 to 80 miles per hour. If I'm completely tucked down, down by the speedometer, you can hit 80. Um, and it will run at 60, 65, wound up just on the highway all day. And it's not uncomfortable. So, 250 Rebel build, I don't know what you'd call it, a scrambler, a broad, a uh, cafe racer, a bobber, I, I don't know. But we're just gonna call it an urban scrambler. I think that sounds really good for what it is, so. Is what we're working with, kids. Turn this Very nice. God, I love it. And that flat army green, hell of a color. I let the girlfriend pick out the color of this bike just because girls, you know, typically they're very good at colors and designing things. And I asked her, what color do you want this bike to be? And she said, sage green. I said, we're, fuck no, we're not doing that. I ended up doing it, and I love the color. It's so good, guys. Kind of like a flat army green, almost. So, and it's just a rattle can job. The paint cost me $7. I got two cans. So... But yeah, let me know what you guys think. Uh, if you have questions, comments, concerns, let me hear it all. Thanks for watching. Maybe like, maybe subscribe. You don't have to. It's your life. Do whatever you want. But until next time, thanks guys.